Hey. Hello. Not awkward at all. I am. Hey. Come here often? Probably not since this is my first video. Hi, I'm Marissa and she brought the tea. thought it'd be a lot of fun to review a tea subscription box. I see a lot of subscription box out there. I personally am not subscribed to much. The only box I usually get is from Amazon or HelloFresh. Let me know down in the comments if you'd be interested in me reviewing HelloFresh. But today we're reviewing tea from SipSpy. Now you can start your own subscription by going onto SipSpy's website and on there you can subscribe for a monthly box, a three month box, six months, 12 months, all at different price increments. They also have you take a really fun quiz to personalize your taste in tea. Me, I am not a huge fan of chai teas or really earthy flavored teas. I prefer ones that are fruity and refreshing. I know there's a lot of people out there who just would die for matcha tea. Personally, I think it tastes like grass. And if that's your taste, good for you. So I'm really curious to see what kind of teas they sent me based on my quiz. Let's take a look. So they do send your teas in this really cute box. And I've had this box for, I wanna say, a little over a month, but I was just so excited to review this that I didn't want to spoil the fun. It's really cute, guys. It lets you know that this is July's flavors. On the back, it says made for Marissa, and it gives you a breakdown of all of the tea types in your box and how to steep. Also on your quiz, it gives you an option of if you prefer loose tea or if you prefer tea bags. I'm a really big fan of tea. I don't drink it as often as I would like. I tend to drink a cup of coffee almost every morning and that's a habit I'd like to break. Later on in my YouTube channel, you may see me doing some fitness challenges. I personally would like to see a glow up in myself. Not saying that I don't already think I am stunning, but you know, we all have things that we'd like to work on and my physical status is one I'd like to improve on. So that being said, I use a lot of creamer in my coffee. Tea doesn't really need creamer. So I'm trying to get in the habit of drinking more tea. It does look like in this box, they gave me two caffeine-free teas, one that definitely contains caffeine and one that has a low caffeine intake. Let's start off with these little guys. This is the Stash Super Mint Tea. It is an herbal tea and it's caffeine-free. It even smells minty. I'm really excited for this one. I think this will be a nice refreshing way to start the day. And since it's minty, I won't mind drinking it after I brush my teeth. These ones are really pretty guys. This one is a fruit and herb tea. It is rose hip hibiscus and cherry from Ahmed Tea Company. I'm really impressed with the variety that they give you and the amount. There's definitely enough tea in here to last me at least a month if I drink one cup a day. Ooh, these ones are really interesting. It's liquidy. It's definitely not like any other tea I'm used to, seeing as I usually use tea bags or loose tea. It is a raspberry, mildly sweetened tea. It's antioxidant rich, plant-based energy, you raspberry flavored, rich with antioxidants, plant-based, energy and it's so cute. It says at the bottom, IE means intelligent energy. I think this one might be my favorite. It's our fourth and last tea. This one is definitely a loose tea. This flavor is called Laughing Lemon. It's so cute. This one might be the first one that I try. I am gonna try each one of these throughout the next week. I'll do my best to review my reaction so you know that this is worth trying. Now that we know what teas we received, Let's get steeping. I'm so sorry, that was really lame, wasn't it? Please don't leave. We're gonna try some tea. Ow! 
Oh, my foot's asleep. I've been sitting on my foot this whole time. Ah, oh, okay. I bought this pot a while ago at Marshall's Home Goods, and I'm really excited to be able to use it today. It comes with a little strainer, so I could just put the loose tea right in here. I should probably clean it first. It's really dusty. While we wait for that tea to steep, tell me down in the comments what your favorite tea is. Right now I'd have to say boba tea passion fruit is my favorite. It is just so delicious and that boba is just so much fun to eat. Fun little fact about me, when I was a kid and first tried boba tea, I did not like the tapioca balls. I thought they were really weird. So I would spit them out at people's cars and they would stick. I don't recommend it. It will probably damage someone's car but it was a lot of fun. I think today I'm gonna to use my cute little kitty mug. I mean, are you kidding me? So cute. Also, if you hear a lot of wrestling in the background, that's probably one of my three cats. I am a cat lady, if you couldn't tell. All right. It's tea time. Mm. So I really enjoy sour and tart candies. So for this, I didn't add any sugar or honey like I typically would to other teas. I want the full experience of just the leaves and the lemony flavor. It's crazy hot. This might take a minute. probably spitting in this, I'm disgusting. Get used to this. I really hope this isn't gross content and that this is actually fun for you guys. I'm also trying to learn to not look at myself in the viewfinder because you guys are here. It's a real Brandon Ferris moment. All right, first sip. Oh. It's gonna get it guys. It's gonna get a big fat cringy chef's kiss, just. Oh. Hope you enjoyed that, because this, oh, perfect. Not gonna lie, I was half expecting it to just taste like hot water that you squeeze some lemon into, but there's definitely some underlying flavors. I am not good at reviewing the complexity of flavors and all that jazz, but I know when something's good, and this is good. I'm gonna finish this cup off and later in the week, I will review the other three teas I received in this subscription box and let you know how those taste. Just a warning, I usually drink my tea in the morning before all of this happens. So please don't come after me if I look like a gross troll that just came out from underneath the bridge. Thanks. I love them, they're really cute, but dang. babies good morning all right so i'm super lazy this morning um i am going to be trying the weird pre-brewed condensed tea it says that you can either drink it cold or hot so i'm just going to be mixing it into my water bottle here and just getting my day started Sorry, I had to come back real fast. I literally only just tore the edge here and it smells so good. Oh my gosh. I wish we had smell cam. It's 2020, what are we doing? Smell this. It's delicious, right? I feel like I should overlap the Jaws music to this. I hope I didn't put in too much water. How many ounces is this? Hmm. Of course it doesn't tell me. 15? Is that what that means? It might have been a little too much water, guys. Okay, I was worried that I may have put in uh, too much water, 
but it still smells pretty fragrant so we're gonna go ahead and take a sip again do not come for me because i look like a freaking troll who climbed out from underneath the bridge when i first wake up okay i'm doing my best oh dang dang that is good oh that's fresh it's definitely not too sweet uh considering how it smells it's actually really refreshing it kind of just tastes like raspberry flavored water but that's usually what tea is right it's just flavored water this is delicious i'm really excited to have one that i can just throw into my bottle of water and be ready for the day or whatever else i have going on highly recommend this pre-brewed condensed tea really cool all right i'm gonna get my day going you guys enjoy your day, and I'll see you here in a couple seconds. Like five, four, three, two, one. All right. Hey, it is yet another day, and I have things I need to get done. Like look at the viewfinder. Wait, which one? This one? Too much water, oh God. Okay, as you can see, my head is all over the place. I have things I need to get done today. One of the things being making up some choreography because our studio summer camp is coming up. I already have two dances down, but I like to have four just so we have some options in case they can't grasp on. We try another one. Anyways, do any of you remember being in school and on like a big test day, they'd leave a mint on your desk and it was supposed to help you concentrate or make your brain wake up or some baloney like that. I'm not sure if that actually works, but if it does, then I feel like this mint tea should really help me concentrate. Cause again, as you can see, I'm kind of like all over the place. So we're gonna boil some water. We're gonna drink some mint tea. I'll let you guys know if it tastes like toothpaste or if it's actually good. Then I'm gonna work on some choreography, go to the gym and yeah, next time you see me, we'll talk about the tea. I just opened the bag and it smells like Trident gum. Like it is the mintiest of mints. I don't think it's bad. It smells really good, but it makes me a little nervous about drinking it. It is so beautiful out right now, but if you actually go outside, you're going to melt. Like I thought about drinking this hot, hot cup of tea outside and then thought, wow, I will possibly just burst into flames because of how hot it is outside. Thank you. Thank you, Theo. But just look how lovely. All right. Like I said before, I have a lot of stuff I need to get done today. So appreciate the fact that all of my mugs are cat related because I am a cat lady. Thank you, Theo. Cheers. That is surprisingly good. Like the mint doesn't hit you hard. Um, Theo, baby. Please stop. No, that doesn't mean keep going. No. Anyways, like I was saying, the mint doesn't hit you head on. Um, it kind of has like a normal sort of green tea flavor to it. And then the aftertaste or like the after breath brings in the after breath. That sounds real nice, doesn't it? Uh, but no, the aftertaste brings on the mintiness and it's surprisingly refreshing. Yeah, it is. Okay guys, I gotta get my day going, but the mint one is really good. Three out of four so far have been delicious. So we'll see if the fourth one holds up. I'll be back in a bit. Bye. What you doing? Hmm? Kiyoko. Theo. Theo. Oh, that handsome boy. Oh. 
and we're back. So today I'm going to be trying the final tea in our box. I dressed for the occasion. I felt like it was a little summery. Uh, again, this last flavor is the rose hip hibiscus and cherry. I'm not the biggest fan of like rose or floral flavored drinks. I thought I'd put that on the quiz, but maybe I didn't. Uh, maybe I put I didn't like earthy instead, thinking I meant the same thing. I'm not sure, but either way, this one is throwing me for a little bit of a curve. So far, I've really liked all the other teas. They've all had different uh, complexities to their flavors, a wide array of flavors, nothing was too similar. But yeah, let's heat this baby up and see what we get. This isn't giving me like um, like cough medicine vibes. It's really not, which I'm surprised because it has cherry in it. Uh, it actually smells like you walked up to a rose bush and just took a big whiff. So, you know, here goes to that saying, stop the smell of roses. It is already looking crazy red. Like, I'm not sure if you can really get good look as to how red this is getting. I love it. Okay, so our rose hibiscus and cherry tea is done seeping and it kind of reminds me of like cherry cough drops. <laughs> I mean listen, there are times where like a carry <laughs> a carry there are times when a cherry cough drop can taste delicious but um in a tea form, I'm just not sure. But uh, let's let's give it a sip. Oh, that was hot still. I don't think I'd like it. <laughs> oh, it just, it very much tastes like rose water. And then the cherry flavor doesn't come through as much in the actual taste, but the smell of it smells like cherry medicine, which is disappointing. And then it definitely tastes like, oh, just a lot of rose water. I just, Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan, but you know, three out of four really isn't that bad, especially when you're only paying $15 for the subscription. Ultimately, I think my favorite one, it's really a tie between my favorite ones. Um, I really loved the raspberry pre-brewed condensed tea. It was just super easy. I didn't have to steep any water. Uh, I could just throw it into my water bottle before the gym and have something really delicious or refreshing. Uh, if I am willing to take the time and I get to use my fun little teapot, which is a plus, then I am going to go with the Laughing Lemon, which again, is just such a cute name. I really love the Laughing Lemon one. Um, and I also was not disappointed by the Super Mint. Uh, it did help me get a little energized because of that really sort of menthol flavor uh, but I actually enjoyed it more than I thought so I would suggest giving sips by a try you can always go back retake your quiz uh, sort of tailor it more to what you're looking for from a tea box I know now to go back and really drive home that I don't enjoy rosy flavored teas and that's okay because out of the other ones I really enjoyed also, if you find that you love a certain tea brand or tea flavor, you can buy it discounted by 20% from Sips Buy's website. So all in all, I think it's worth a try. And that's the tea. I'm sorry, it was right there. I, I had to do it. Please subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't absolutely hate me and you thought I was a little bit entertaining, I would really appreciate if you subscribed. I intend on doing a lot of different content on this channel, so definitely hit that bell button if you wanna see what else I'm into. I'm super open to trying new things especially for content. So also tell me in the comments bar what else you'd like to see me do. I plan on uploading a video of me cutting my friend's hair, a video of me baking a cheesecake, and a video of me doing my best at sewing. If you love to watch people fail or excited to see me succeed, I'd really appreciate it if you came along on the journey. And let me tell you, it only gets cringier from here. Bye.